Hi, I'm Tony Kiroga and welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver staffers, editors, and friends gather to look for cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge, uh, since so many people are now returning to work and are facing a commute, we asked everyone on staff to, well, everyone on this panel, to look at cars to commute in. Um, so each of us sort of imagined a commute, probably around 30 minutes, maybe some are a little longer. You know, I live in Los Angeles, so my commute is going to be more bumper to bumper. Other people might be traveling longer distances, but we will find out what we all chose and then we'll vote on it at the end. Uh, we're joined this week by now uh, Road and Track Senior Editor, John Purley Huffman, who is it wearing a Motor Week t-shirt for some bizarre reason. Why are you wearing <laughs> that t-shirt? Well, because uh, they sent it to me for free, postage due. Uh, but it was uh, their 40th anniversary. Did and, you write to Owings Mills, Maryland to get it? <laughs> no, it, 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 it? Everybody knows Lisa Barrow, who's our friend. And uh, she, she, had, she mentioned on Facebook and I said, hey, I want one of those shirts. And they sent me one to, to celebrate their 40th anniversary. And I think Motor Week is, you know, the, the essential element in the Internet, because, you know, where else? Would places like Donut Media steal their video from if they did? Oh my God! Wait, and also hold on, John. Does, does that shirt look any different than any other year of Motor Week shirts? No, I think call... they've got it. They've been. They've been. They've Special been, anniversary been... edition. Yeah, yeah the 40, I'm like, <laughs> well, has Jonathan has Motor Week it's a, it's changed a... in 40 years? I mean, they should be the exact same <laughs> hills, the exact okay. same curves. No, Motor Week, Motor Week is like the is like the North Star. It is constantly there. It's always doing the same thing. But the cool thing is, is that every once in a while they'll put something up like they have a test of a Pontiac T1000. Yeah, the archival stuff is terrific. It's just awesome to watch. It's, it, it, it's, although I get excited about it and then I watch it for three minutes and I realize I've fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're also, let's continue the introduction. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, Casey. Yeah, not, you, you, also, you, no, 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 no. Tony, Tony wakes up like 40 reviews later and it totally screws up his YouTube algorithm. <laughs> 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 Here's yeah, more my, week. My, yeah. my truck videos don't come up. All right, Joe, we're joined by uh, senior editor Joey Caparella, uh, deputy testing director Mr. Casey Colwell, and contributor Jonathan Ramsey. Uh, Pearly, let's see what you have got for your commute, and if you can describe your commute too. My commute. Well, I don't know if you know this, but I live in Santa Barbara, California. Share screen. Share screen. <laughs> oh God, give me a break, okay? Pearly, when was the last time you had a commute? Uh, 1993. Never. Wow. Yeah. Who were you? Who were you working for? What magazine were you working for? I was working for. Um, I was working for Car, for Carcraft magazine in 1993. <laughs> I, and I used to commute. Oh. From, I used to commute from. Uh, I used to commute from. Um, I used to commute from. Uh, from Agoura Hills to down to Hollywood. Okay, I'm gonna fall asleep if this is your car. <laughs> is it Joey up. special? Is it Joey special? Look, oh every God. every time every time every time people ask me what to buy. I always say buy the best Honda you can you can afford the best Honda you can find you can afford. This one's got this is a this is a 2009. It's only got 17,642 miles on it. Wow! Has is, it, this, is this the first year of the of the of the new one, the bigger one? I'm not, I'm not sure. No, it's one of the. It's mid oh, way through. It's the first year of the refresh of that generation. Yeah, it's it's got a clean Carfax. It's it's a just a good looking car. It's nothing special, but you know what? The most important thing about any commute is that this car is going to start every morning <laughs> and get you to work. Wait, no, and no, this is before the refresh. The, this generation came out in 2008. Yeah, the yeah. The refresh was 2011, and then it lasted until 2013. Well, yeah. I just can't care that much to do that sort of research. But, <laughs> but I didn't have to do research. have the knowledge. Yeah. Like Joey it's, does. A, it's not, you know, this is the Joey Norm core. Like, I got people working for me at Road and Track doing that now. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to understand I'm at Road and Track. Um, uh, the, uh, the, the thing is, these are, you know, as a commuter car, they're quiet. They start all the time. They last forever. This is before, this is before they put the CVT, the generation before the CVT. I, with I, the four cylinder. Yeah, this was a five speed automatic. So yeah. Hold on. And you didn't, you didn't want to spend a little more money and get some leather or. No, I don't care about leather. In fact, I've never liked leather. I prefer cloth. Um, yeah. And I'm a Charlie on that. Yeah. That and, hot Santa Barbara sun just bakes the leather. Yeah, Santa no. Barbara, Santa Barbara is the Riviera of the what do they call it? The Riviera of the West. It's a Riviera. It's it's California's. Uh, it's the California's Riviera. Right. Although sand does kind of get into the. 
into, into oh, the textile. God's sake. Guys, stop ragging on Santa Barbara. You're just Wait, going. What's, what state is Santa Barbara in again? California. <laughs> California. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, you guys think you make fun of me now that I don't have any power at car and driver. Like, I never had any power at car and driver. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> but, uh, but look. The basic the ten best winner, but uh, we really yeah. love the manual. I would, I would suffer in a manual yeah. in traffic just to have the manual with this engine. The, man, the manual's better. They're a lot rarer. The point of commuting, first and foremost, is to get there every day on time without fail, and that's what these cars deliver. These also, are. I love that center stack. It's got like so many knobs and buttons. That's what I mean, we yearn for. Today. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, you could get lost <laughs> in the wrong answer to those knobs and buttons. <laughs> But you well, know, I think it, we just went too far the other way. You yeah, know, but you know, since it's only twelve thousand five hundred ninety dollars, which is a deal, I would also add a C one twenty five Super Cub, which is what I actually did use to commute for three months this last year, because I would commute from my from three blocks away at my house to here with the Super Cub that the Honda loaned. Hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. You you rode a motorcycle three blocks. Yeah. <laughs> I also used to go get coffee, <laughs> run around town. Get, 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 look, you can you spell commute? <laughs> because this no, that's problematic. There, there, the there, there, there he is a, commuting. There he is. There I am commuting. There I am commuting. And uh, you know, these are Hold on. Uh, and is that that doesn't look like Santa Barbara. That is Santa Barbara. There's there's the mission right in the background, right there. Hmm. That's funny. And, and you know, <laughs> I, I, I wait a bit more back then. Hold is on, that's that not even a commute. A you're, path? you're on park roads. Is that a park path? <laughs> Park. We, we, pull this, we pull this is, to a park. Is that is that is that a oh, burly? Burly, dude. What is it with you, man? No, I'm just wait. Did that go, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Did that say it was it was going two miles an hour? <laughs> it's it's in second gear. That's the second gear. Oh, second uh, gear. Yeah, yeah. Two gear. Second gear. These All are, right, burly. Thank you. Are, but you don't you don't you don't yes. validate. Yeah, let's hear I'm the not spiel. Get let's validated. Hear, I want to hear the I'm spiel. Get any sort of what's the spiel? I don't ever want to commute on a motorcycle with 125 cc's. That sounds cool. <laughs> you know, no, but you, hold on, but Casey, that's a ride through the park. You just had to get to the other side of the park. True, true, I guess. Yeah, if I'm only you know going from here to my pole barn, it's all right. just a ride in the park for Burley. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know the thing is, is that for, for I, I look, I loved having that thing around, and I used to every day. I used to go for a ride every day with that thing. Just Three blocks. What? No, three, three blocks to my house. But I would use it for running all my errands. It was just wonderful. It was a nice thing to have. The weather was great. It was great. It's what kind wonderful. of what kind of what kind of errands did you have that you could do on a cub? You go down to the marina, you know, <laughs> look at the dolphins. Say hello I, to the dolphin. To I, 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 every day I would go down and say hi to Angus, the dolphin. <laughs> be there. Wow. Okay. Eat He's the pigeons the in that park that you were terrorizing. <laughs> terrorizing the park. I just it was fun. All right. You know, I want to I want to see what all right, Pearly, we're, we're done. We're done. You know, rest of, in the rest of the world, that thing's an F-150. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right, Joey. You're up now. I want to see what you how rational are you this week? I actually went less rational this week. I chose a BMW. So this is a 228i. So this is the first year of the two series coupe, rear wheel drive. This ad says all wheel drive, but I don't think it is because I found a photo of the one we tested, which was all wheel drive, and it has an X drive badge. And this one does not have it. So it's rear drive. Take those off. Oh, I think it's rear drive. People take well, they probably off. just took the badges off when they could have taken the badge off. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. I, uh, well, you can, you I can stand use by it even if it's all wheel drive. So this car appeals to me because it's quick. It's small, it's fairly comfortable still because it's not, you know, an M car or anything. And it gets really, really good mileage. So this 230i, which was a couple years later, we tested it. Um, <laughs> slightly updated engine with a little more power, but it got 35 mpg in our highway test. Hmm. What was so, your, what's the city? City's 24, okay. Yeah, 24 city, 27 combined. What, what, wait a second, five, three, zero to 60? Yeah, so oh, actually good. this one, the 228 we tested, which had less power, was five flat. And that was the all wheel drive. The rear drive one was four nine. So quick. So, so, you definitely, Joey, you definitely want the automatic? So I wouldn't really want to contend with a manual if I were in a bumper to bumper situation. I guess if you had a longer commute, you could look for like a, you know, a, a faster commute with less traffic, you could get the manual. 
manual. I mean, the automatic in these is really good, so I don't think I would mind it. This is or it's just uh, just how much power is there? Is it a turbo four or is it a regular four? It's a turbo four with uh, two hundred forty horsepower. Well, it's got a lot of power. Yeah, There's and it's a small car and it's pretty lightweight, so. Yeah, I, I love scary. how they. I love how nimble they are right. in traffic nimble, too. Yeah. You can squirt in and out of you know lanes and. Yeah, you know, which is you know that's how I would like to commute. Well, you know, it, it's it's one of the one of the truths about BMW is the low power base versions are often far more re as, as rewarding as an M car in their own way. Yeah, these are really nice they, to drive. They drive nicely. I like yeah, those really wheels nice too. I like those wheels a lot. Yeah, it looks good in this. I mean, the silver is a little boring, but it looks really good. I think. Um, I mean, this what it is, is just this under seventeen grand. Special. Yeah. 70,000 miles, and it's a one owner Carfax. It's been serviced at a BMW dealership. So I think mm. it's pretty damn good. Now, wait, so were there were there no Toyotas available this week, Joey? <laughs> Was that, were they I all know, I went a little off base. <laughs> Is that what happened? I went less boring when everyone else went more boring. <laughs> Interesting. You zig. It would be so nice have. to drive this over. It's very <laughs> satisfying, but it's got a it's not like a harsh ride or anything. It's it's well, not say it's not, but I mean, it's not, it's not cushy either. Like it's you're going to hear the road. I don't want a cushy car. That doesn't, that doesn't. You, yeah. <laughs> I think I, yeah. Forget everything you knew about me. <laughs> okay. Boy, this is, this is like opposite Joey week is what, uh, is what we're getting. Well, am I wrong? Go back to that tire car. shot. This is like, this is like yeah. a universe where Joey has a beard, isn't it? Where I really prefer the two series before this. I think the one that's, series. Uh, that's a bridge. Or one series, flat. yeah. The one series was before this, yeah. yeah. I, I like the two series because it's a little bigger inside. I mean, I never drove the one series, so I can't really compare. Do you see? Wait, you said that's a that's a run flat. Yeah. Do you see the ribs on the side? The bridge. Oh, bridge don't put those ribs on there. It's like a they cool. They're cooling ribs, according to oh. Bridgestone. They let the sidewall run. Yeah, up. you don't really want the run flats because those hurt the ride. Yeah, and they're noisy. They're they're you um, get money. You can put. Uh, yeah, you could put other ones on there. So it's a ribbed rubber. Yeah, it's rib for cooling. Like, when, uh, are you sure it's cooling? Huh? <laughs> no, they need to put right <laughs> over your head, Tony. It was awesome. Anyways, oh, rib I, I really like the proportions. I think this is a perfect size. I like small cars, even for a commute. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, right. I would have done a 128 with the last of the naturally aspirated six cylinders. If I yeah, was but the fuel economy is not as good. Yeah. Yeah, you're, pretty good. you're really, you're really worried. Wait, 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 wait. What, the fuel economy. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's 230. Or it's basically the same horsepower. Fuel economy is not that much better. It wouldn't be that different. <laughs> well, anyway, I like this one because I think the styling. I mean, I'm not a fan of the one series styling personally. Well, no, also, Joey, the, the two series still looks like this, so it, no one would know that you had an eight year old, seven year old car. Yeah, that's true. It's still out today. All right, I like your choice. Mm. I'm into it. A little, a little, uh, a little uh, different for you, which is interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's that's hot sauce for Joey. All right, let's see oh what Casey Thanks. thought. What did you bring to the commuting party? All right. Um, I uh, wait. And what what is your commute? Well, I mean, my I mean, right now my commute's nothing. But normally, I mean, like, so I live in I live in Chelsea, which is like 20, 25 miles west of our office, mm -hmm. and. Um, this is actually a car I tried to uh, get my wife to buy. Um, but, <laughs> oh, no, no. Sorry, this was the... I was going to say, but she said no? <laughs> yeah. So I, I tried to get her to oh. buy a certified pre-owned mm. uh, BMW i3. Mm. Um, while I, I do want to show, I, I did, I like this specific car, um, mainly because uh, with this um, loyalty discount i'm under budget so uh, i like that but the photos aren't as good so um here, right, here, the i3 here. is great i uh, yeah no i think it's a, and and uh i too you know for the talking about always getting in the car it always starting yeah. um you know evs are pretty simple that way also i love the idea of never having to get gas in the morning because i am perpetually running behind <laughs> um and uh these are cool cars. I mean, new. This was like a this was like a fifty some thousand dollar car. And, uh, and is this is this the range extender? Yeah, this this is range extender, um, uh, and you know, heated cloth interior, which is uh, I like awesome. that interior. I, I always I always like the interiors of these cars. I always thought they were really kind of. Uh, I, I thought these cars were really cool. Yeah, these cars are really cool. I mean, they're, they're they're it's basically a carbon fiber 
body yeah. on top of an aluminum uh, frame. I, uh, I went through, mm. these are photos I took from uh, the launch of this thing. So this is, this is the frame and that's the, that's the front suspension, the struts in the front. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculously high tech. And yeah. this is, this is the body and it's all, it's just a, it's just a Plastic awesome tub. little carbon fiber tub. Carbon fiber. It, that's a McLaren. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a carbon fiber thing like that for twenty. I pretty do think the the I hated when the range extender engine came in because it, it sounded like a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little. It's like a, it's a six hundred cc. Yeah, it's a, a two cylinder scooter engine basically. Um, this is well, also car, this is the your only has, your car has scooter built in. I'm like, yeah, it's scooter. I don't need a separate scooter. <laughs> uh, but it's also this is the only BMW with a dipstick, um, <laughs> which is. Uh, Kind of a nice thing. You know, this is the thing I always remember when the first time I drove one of these things, other than the pizza cutter wheels, is that it ha didn't have AM radio band. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> who, who else on the on this show would have would have picked that out? Who else? You couldn't listen to Rush, man. <laughs> oh my God. You know, um, what, you, know, you know, wait. You know, because I because I was writing a story about this for Car and Driver. <laughs> I noted that it didn't have AM radio band because of the. Uh, uh, I mean, why would you even look for an AM radio band in the 21st century? Was it this Dude. story? Yeah, that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, I was on that with you. Yeah, it, I thought that you know. Do you even get wait? Do you even get AM in Santa Barbara? <laughs> well, we get we we have no, no, no. they got they got a little they got a little shield that blocks exactly. I blocks thought they outlawed that people. in like seventy eight, didn't they? Weren't they? Yeah, like, sorry, we, we, we have we have the protective dome comes down. <laughs> yeah, we don't have those people here. No, we have, we, it's you know it, 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 it wasn't because I was looking for it. It's just that it's interesting because they did because of that it's something to do with the structure of the car. If I remember correctly, it doesn't have AM radio because yeah. It, it actually affects the carbon fiber or it doesn't something, I don't remember what these. Well, they'd have to put a special antenna on it, probably a whip antenna, and that would have ruined yeah. the looks of the car. Yeah. It, it was, well, it's whip antenna and it's it also, so great, um, Jonathan. Yeah. And electromagnetic you know, interference. I like it, it's from, cool. Uh, yeah. and, and these, are, these are cool, and like the, the interior, this is all um, like recycled mm. uh, yeah. from trim, from the, the interior trim, and uh, they're, they're really cool cars. I've always- um, Is there a I've shot of the rear of it, Casey, of the rear bumper? Although they're they're highly designed, and I think for what you're like for what you're getting, it was a really cool play. We so are, in 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 non black cars, it looks like it's giving birth to a a nine eleven. Yeah, when oh. someone said that, it's like I couldn't unsee it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like an, an uh, old, a, a, a like a nine nine one is being pushed out of the bumper. Yeah, and that's also I mean I the the two tone of these that's why you have to get a black one. Um, <laughs> If you're going to do it so i just i just remember i also remember that uh you know the, the thing i liked about this car a lot was it was so much more so much more ambitious than what mercedes was doing it was you know this is a car that they really tried a lot of different things they really made such an effort to make it an interesting and, and they bought a mine car. they bought a mine in the state of washington to support yeah. bmw with enough carbon fiber I yeah mean, it's, so this is you know it was not a it, it you know it wasn't just a converted car it wasn't a half-ass effort this is a full bore. Let's build an alter alternative fuel car, and they came out. I thought really successful. They don't sell very many of them. No, and you, and you can get new ones pretty cheap. You know, but it's still, them. but they they won't stop production because they're still selling enough of them. But yeah, I don't think it's selling that badly. But I mean, it's not a yeah. Hit. It, it, it didn't hit their goals, and they spent yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, but, but it, it's it a had, really cool car. You know, it, you know, they may not. I doubt they make any money on them. But I guarantee no. you that they, I guarantee you that it allows them to sell a lot of really fuel scorping M cars that make a lot of money. Mm. And, and, and but um, we, so this is, this is kind of the updated one. So this isn't the smallest battery that first came out. It's the 94 amp hour battery. That's how it's marketed. I can't remember exactly what the capacity is. Now they're up to like 120 amp hour. Um, but uh, uh, another interesting thing about them is, so they have this tiny little gas tank that's actually about twice as big as it's, um, uh, as as the amount of fuel you, you can put in it here and um through uh coding you can unlock the the extra capacity because it had something to do with with um earning a a, a zero emission EV, vehicle yeah, zero mm -hmm. emission yeah. so so much of the so much of the energy that it could have on board had to be mo it had to be a certain percentage and so they had to basically um, shrink the size of the gas. Oh, tank. so it's it's computer controlled. It's not yeah. like that was the explanation. Yeah. So the, the original explanation I got was that there was like a there was like a a filler, like a piece of like 
a piece of bat, like a like a phone, like a plastic yeah, balloon. Like, yeah, like a, piece of, like a balloon. The, is the guy is the guy who's uh, who's who's selling this Mark Stila? <laughs> <laughs> you spotted that, did you? Yeah. A little I was on an interview with the viewers. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, a close personal friend of mine came over and borrowed my computer. He must have left that out. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and why, um, why, why didn't you want it, Casey? Uh, she hates the way it looks. And, uh, mm. yeah. and also, uh, so originally, because um, this would be perfect for, I mean, her commute. I mean, it was, she also commutes to Ann Arbor. Um, her commute would be. Uh, you know, nothing but highway, plug it in, come on, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, never go to a gas station. Casey, how big is the gas tank? Isn't it like 2.2 gallons, but it has the capacity of 4.4? So isn't it like, yeah, it like yeah, it's, it's, it's something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can like hack it basically to let more gas in. Right. Yeah. And we've, we've tested, we've tested like every iteration of this. Um, and uh, I think, yeah. So this was, uh, this is actually like this, this model, this spec with the range extender. Um, not, the quickest thing but it's uh, it's fine bad, though did it, we it, test it in range extended mode uh it's a dog when it's yeah no no they're not quick they're not quick um, <laughs> and yeah so this is the difference between the current one uh current ones uh a little 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 less rated efficiency but uh quite a bit more um ev range uh, i think we did like 80 miles um, at 75 miles an hour before the, uh, before the gas engine kicked on. It's like 80, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, I say- You know, it depend, depending on what your commute is. I mean, like my wife works at UCSB and she, she has, a, she would have a charger at home and a charger at the other. What's it, what, is that hilarious, Tony? Is that uh, making- I was, I was waiting for somebody to get bingo. I don't know if anyone- That's, oh, I'm so <laughs> close. I'm so close. <laughs> funny. It's funny to you. Do I make you laugh? Wait, hold on. But did she? She had to go three blocks the other way to her job. Is that what happened? <laughs> you dropped her off on the super cup. You didn't have a only, it's only a block and a half each way, but it's a block and a half there. And <laughs> right. Three and then there. Th through the park. <laughs> she works. She works several miles away, and she could, and she has. She works at a place that has chargers all over the place. And you know, if she had an all electric one, you know, she could run all her errands, do everything done, and never, and never have a, never, and never do anything except uh, use free charger. Pearly, you don't know how much I'd pay for a wife for a picture of you and your wife with a, a Honda Cub and an i3 somewhere <laughs> picturesque yeah, in Santa Barbara. I also love, well, I love that this thing has a flat floor here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interior yeah. packaging is really cool. Yeah. Oh, totally. oh, oh, the other thing, um, uh, a car seat. So it has a back seat. They have these. Um, you know, kind of, you know, they're like, um, they're like van doors, like pick up, yeah, like, yeah, like van doors. doors, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, doors so it's, like it's a reverse like, hinge, but you can only open it if the front's open. Yeah. So it's not like a real suicide it, door. Like, like but a it's, it's, access cap. Oh, Jesus. That is fun. <laughs> that thing go. You're going to have to beat that. <laughs> All right. We hit Tundra. Uh, but it was, it, yeah, the, the other, it was uh, a, a car seat back there um, makes the passenger seat pretty much unusable so oh are the are the bolsters that narrow no 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 it's 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 car seats have just gotten massive and oh, you have to move it far. you have to move the, you have to move the passenger seat so far forward all oh, right so okay. that that was that was kind of it but um well, does doesn't it get better when you go from the reverse seat to the forward facing seat though yes and again this was i, I don't think she can hear me but these are all things i pointed out <laughs> and uh, you know, we, we ended up still buying an SUV, so there you go. <laughs> you got to have room just in case. Just um, in case. Well, it is but, her commute, Casey. It is. Her it is. Yeah, exactly. It's her. It's her commute. It's her car. It's, and and I get it. I, I get that it's kind of a you know a dweeby thing to, well, to she, own, but I she, I think they're cool. Does, oh, she man. Commute, does, she, does she commute every day? Uh, not uh, not currently. Yeah. All right. But she, she was, but she was commuting every day, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So how long? Um, is so this no. week, uh, Joey and I share Good the transition. same universe. Uh, however, never of, of course, it was at different ends of the universe because oh. I chose a BMW 760 IL. Oh, <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh come <laughs> on, Jonathan! <laughs> because my commute. 
I haven't had a commute in decades, but mine, the only time I think of commuting, I think of like live like my dad who lives in the Inland Empire in Southern California. And you, you got to do like 80 miles on the 90 to the 605 to the 710, blah, blah, blah. And sometimes yeah, it's open and you want to run fast. Sometimes it's closed and you want to be comfortable. So you can't go wrong with when you're, when how, you're, how much is this is this car? It is 19,900. How many miles are on it? 100,000 miles. 100,000, like wow, 200. Wow, wow. No. How many owners? Um, Click on that Carfax. It says it's free. Where? A little bit up. Click, click on this and give them your social security number. <laughs> oh, John, Jonathan, can you zoom in? We got four owners. Oh, yeah. So you'd be the fifth owner. Yeah, that just goes to tell you how much it's been costing the other previous three owners. It's got a trail. It's also got weird aftermarket wheels, which is suspicious. Hey, look, I'm I'm okay with aftermarket wheels. There are no other modifications that have uh, no accidents, which is good. And service yeah. at BMW dealers. BMW of Las Vegas. That says something. <laughs> oh my God! What does that say? It says it says that the, the the guy lost his gambling. Says, probably lost. Says they're, they're only. <laughs> They're only slightly. Uh, well, never mind. I won't. That thing I won't, was at the dealer. That thing I won't. I won't say anything bad about the good people of Santa Barbara. That thing was at the dealer a lot, Jonathan, in its first in its first years. Yeah, it was. Um, well, no. Well, what she, a shock! What a shock! <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, they were working out the kinks, you know. Yeah, they still are. This was yeah the first year of the uh, of the V12. I don't know why it's being. They moved it. They moved. It's being serviced at an Acura dealer in a few of those. They got shipped. They got shipped to Chicago. Oh my God, look at this! Got more service records, and gets serviced a lot. Like the intervals are so short. There's like forty six thousand and a forty seven five. My right. my commute's only eighty miles. I can do <laughs> like once. You can do it once. Exactly. Come right, on. Go back to the listing, Jonathan. Let's see the listing. Yeah. Here. Let's go through these photos. Yeah, let's look at the photos. I would still take. Ooh, the black taillights. Yeah, it's well, it, but it, but that's that's a Nevada special. That is a Las Vegas special yeah. right there. Uh, Massaging seats, that's nice for a commute. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I see a lot of aftermarket <laughs> stuff on this thing. <laughs> what aftermarket stuff do you what aftermarket stuff do you see except the, the wheels, wheels and those, covers? those, and those covers. Tail light. That's two. <laughs> One is a tail light. Two, two cover. Many. Also, also it's, it's got it's got the shiny leather thing that just says it's been used pretty hard. No, yeah. the shiny leather thing says a dealer likes armor roll and <laughs> auto zone. I don't know. So, some of it looks like it's just been, you know, like polished with an arm. <laughs> so but it's uh, 500 and what, 25 horsepower, 550 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in five seconds. It's a lovely end. Driver test. The, same, the same as my four cylinder BMW. <laughs> yeah, no, this exactly. is, this, I mean, this is essentially the same engine that was in, uh, well, that's in um, uh, the, the, the Rolls Royce. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the Ghost. I mean, I think, I, oh, I think yeah. same, same is, this, is this a naturally aspirated one or is this a turbo? No, no, twin turbo six cylinder, yeah. twin turbo six liter. Yeah, so I think, I think that the, the, the the roller might be um, a bigger engine. It might be a six. No, like the displacement's larger. Yeah, the displacement might be a little bigger. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm confusing. I think they're the same. But I just, yeah, I just looking at a car that has a, a, a long tracker record of unreliability, of great expense. Um, but again, that means they've sorted out all the issues, and now well, it's you, ready I mean, for it's, it. It's, that it's such a statement of faith. You know, it's, what's going on with that brake caliper? If you whoa, can't, whoa, believe, whoa. In, pump, if you can't believe in BMW, Pearly, what can you believe in? Of go course, not. Honda. I can believe in Hondas. Go okay, back two photos. Go two back photos. photos. Go back. But yeah, that's what's painted. going on with that brake caliper. It. They painted it. Is that that's okay? Can you make that bigger and and uh, and, and then close no, it? Up? Only the the no. pictures Enhance. they uploaded for some reason are tiny. There you go. Enhance. <laughs> Hold on. It's a giant sliding caliper, isn't start it? Start chat. Let's start. We need to start chatting with people at these dealerships. Wow. <laughs> Ask all the questions. Yeah. Is, that, is that the HRE? Is that an HRE wheel, or is that just like uh, a? It looks. It appears to be an HRE wheel. Yeah. 
So that's a yeah. high budget wheel. It's expensive. I mean, are we sure it's an HRE wheel? It's not like We're a not, HR, but if it is, HR, <laughs> HRP wheel. They like you know, they just made it look like an HRE because I don't. It's HRF. Uh, but, so, but I would still. Let's see. Hold on. Here's the listing at the dealership. See if they have anything. Oh, are their photos any bigger? No, they're not. They're only what? they're only this size. <laughs> yeah, when we chat with her, she looks like she's she might know what's still going on. Cow. I, I guarantee you she doesn't know. She's going to ask you to slide into her DMs. <laughs> Whoa. Hello? Yeah, you're here. All right. I can't see anything, but okay. Uh, Hi, Jonathan. Did you get into the moonshine? That's, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I don't, I've never heard of moonshine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's got, I think this is the, the fake suede headliner. So I think it's got some. Is that Alcantara? Yeah, yeah. Big options. It's a it. nice car. I would worry about reliability. I worry mean, uh, about, about fuel economy too. I'm not worried about fuel fuel economy and the reliability is plenty to make my commute for a week at a time. I'll drop it right. off at the dealer. Third I'll drop it off the dealer every Friday night and pick it up Monday morning for my next week. Thirteen nineteen. Yeah, this is not. This is, well, who's, okay, who's, so my four cylinder BMW. BMW early seven liter Galaxy might get better. <laughs> my four cylinder BMW is equally quick and gets twice as much fuel uh, MPG. It's going to, Jonathan, it's going to get better fuel economy when it's on the bed of a flatbed. <laughs> is, that cool? is that a 360 tent job too? Well, that's, that's the, I don't know. That, are those windows down? Yeah, those, it's got the full, it's got the full murdered out Las Vegas tent job on it. Because oh, yeah, no on one in LA has tinted windows. Really? Early. Now we make the turn towards Santa Barbara. <laughs> so that, that, that tint would not be legal in Santa Barbara. But I, I'd have to, I'd have to disable. Whoa, go back, go back one more, go back one more. Santa Barbara. Go car. back one more, or go back two more. Yeah. What was that on the door? Did anybody else see that? This. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a holster. It's the car's ankle bracelet. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That's literally what it that's, was. I wonder what that is. That's if anybody knows what it is, please write it. In well, the I, I, might, I, think, I, I think I think it's I think it's a, re a receipt shredder. So every time you fix the car, you just stick it in there and try and forget. <laughs> oh, I think I think this kind of dry doesn't get receipts for anything. <laughs> I think he's not worried about. All right, this. Jonathan, you're done. <laughs> God. But yeah, uh, uh, my car, my car is sort of a, a combination of everybody's cars except for Joey's. It, it combines <laughs> Joey's. But it's sort of a combination between Pearlie's car and Jonathan's car. And I picked it. It's not this, don't worry. I picked it because- IROC, that's an IROC. It's, that's the IROC, yeah. So it's an RLX. Oh my oh. God. No. So the great thing about the, IL, the RLX is it's basically, I mean, it's got the Accord powertrain, a 310 horsepower, three and a half liter Honda V6, six speed automatic, front wheel drive in this generation. But the reason I want this car, aside from the plushness, the luxury, is the, is the audio system. It has an outstanding, outstanding audio system. If you get the technology package, you get the 14 speaker Panasonic ELS sound system that will just make any commute so easy and wonderful. Yeah, we had a long-term uh, RL that kind of launched that, uh, that ELS system and it played DVD audios. This one doesn't, Casey. So you're going to have to download, um, what are they, FLAC files? The, like, FLAC files, yeah. Yeah, the really high quality. FLAC yeah, files are the best. best. I Is know. It, oh, ELS stands yeah. for some guy's name. I'm trying to remember what Yeah, Elliot Shiner. Elliot Shiner. And um, this one has the, I thought this one has the all-wheel steering. Like, this I think is actually a, a, a good handling car. There's a pause Thank in the back. Yeah. yeah, but it's, does that actually help the pause? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pause? Yeah. The, uh, all wheel steering. That's what it's precision, precision all wheel steering. This doesn't badge. have all wheel steering, does it? Yes, it does. It does. Uh, there's a badge. Yeah. And it, it does help. Yeah, I went on the launch of this car. I don't remember that. Um, Pause is also the Tiger's um, mascot. Yeah. Is it is it passive or active steering? It's active and it's precision. electric. And it's, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it active? This is only on the front drive that has the rear steering. Only on the front drive. Correct. Right? Yes. Only the um, front this, drive. It's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> You know, it's it's hard. These cars they're reliable. They're they're comfortable. 
I think it's a pretty good choice. Yeah, for it's under fifty thousand miles. I'm still under budget, and I'm going to use that thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my god! That's what I'm buying. I have Excellent. a friend whose family had, oh, had like that's too different. much tire for that car. That's way too much tire. Exactly. So I got to find a nice oh, MX M4. And for a commute, for a commute, what, <laughs> yeah, what, are, you, what, what are you doing? I, uh, no, no, okay. Good summer tires on a commuter car is a good idea because you generally have you, you'll have the best braking ability. Exactly, that's right. And I will hold on, but hold even on. in the rain. But you're, but you're com in the rain. Tony's in LA. He's commuting at what seventeen miles an hour. Yeah, but sometimes miles an hour? yes, but Jonathan, sometimes you have to slow down quickly because you're not paying attention. And you're <laughs> so you need eleven hundred dollars worth of tire <laughs> to slow down <laughs> from thirteen miles an hour. <laughs> when Tony, when Tony I need dies, five percent of my car to be tire casket. cost. Okay. <laughs> exactly. When Tony dies, they put him in the casket and then they load the casket into the they load the casket into the hearse. He's going to look at the, he's going to come back from the dead and insist that the hearse would be running on pilots. <laughs> That'd be fine. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I, would be, I, would, I would be sitting there like probably in a wheelchair being like, yeah, that tracks. Also, <laughs> this is a one owner car. One owner car serviced at the Acura dealer. Look at that. Hold on. That's a lot of, that's a lot of dealer servicing for 55,000 miles. Yeah. But you know, it's an Acura. You know nothing. Oh, no, no, no. What? You just no no no. Look at all that for an Acura. Look at all that. That's no, that's more than my BMW. What, what, what my the intervals? BMW the intervals are pretty. The intervals are pretty consistent. Yeah. Oh. I, there's two thousand. Come on, dude. Yours was yours was like going into the shop every weekend. It was no. like every. Oh my like, goodness. Like we no, had a tire, no, no. one tire mounted and balanced, so the, so the guy you know got a flat engine electrical system, body electrical system. Checked. They checked yeah. it and it was fine. That's, that's all they did on my BMW as well. That's all they did on my on my V12. Awesome. Yeah, but to check yeah. it, they had to remove the engine first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they, had, they had to call it. They had to, have, they had to fly in uh, Wolfgang it's from Stuttgart to fix the good. thing. And I hope and he Munich. watched Schnitzel, and I, that's why I love Wolfgang. I have a friend who's. I have a story about the Acura RL because I have this friend whose family owned like four different. Acura 3.5 RLs, like the Acura Lincoln, basically. And then my friend's dad was looking for a new car and was like, finally willing to consider something different. I was looking at all these Lexus and Infinity, blah, blah, blah. Of course, ended up with an RLX in the end. Yeah, these, these well, are people. They're loyal customers. Well, there's yeah. nothing else, though. There's nothing else like this. Like, if you're like, <laughs> I, wanna, I want the most fancy Accord possible. Yeah. Right. Where else are you going to go? That's a perfect commuter car. And what would describe a better commuter car? Comfort. Ugh. Accord quality and a V12, 535 V12. horsepower, V12. 550 pound feet of torque oh, right. and luxury for you, weeks. You have this three times the cylinders of Joey's car and about a hundred times the problems. But no. <laughs> and you're no quicker. I, I'm commuting. <laughs> I'm commuting. I don't need so Why do you need a V12 then? Because, because when I'm doing 85, a steady state 85, from from Paris, California to, to Venice Beach, it's comfortable. It's quiet. It's luxurious. And, well, and Bambi, he can't deal well, with those with those. Uh, you uh, say somebody lives those, in Paris, out of balance couples of a, of a four cylinder. You say somebody <laughs> lives in Paris and commutes to to, to to Venice. Yeah. Or or downtown Los Angeles, which is I mean eight miles away or thirteen miles away. So yeah, my I did for a bit. And you got to leave at 4.30 in the morning if you want to get there at a decent hour. All right, but, now we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks. And because of some recent controversy, I will be, <laughs> uh, we will not be, I will not be voting last, apparently. He, mean, he, means, he means because of justice is it's what rigged. he means. <laughs> I, like, I like the hat, Tony, by the way. You know, Did you pick that up with the dog? For you, uh, my, my sister uh, works at Guide Dogs for the Blind. Oh, really? Okay. Um, okay. I thought I might explain some of your choices. So, <laughs> yeah, and all my mean anything. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna reverse the order. I'll go first. So my Acura RLX, 588 watt, 14 speaker stereo, 300. I'm commuting in that. Under reliability, that. under 50,000 miles. Jonathan, what do you think? I mean, I mean, it's basically a Japanese version of your car. <laughs> Half the cylinder. Well, when you put it like that, what? What? I mean, look, it is boring as hell. But I'm gonna go up just because you can't. I can't. You can't complain about it. All right. Um, 
And then what is my favorite car? Gosh, it's hard to pick. Hurley, you had that Accord. Casey had the i3. Joey had the two series, and Jonathan had the seven. I, I had the I had the only real car on the show. I'm gonna go with Joey's 228i. <sighs> Thank you. I like it. I would have gotten a 128 of the previous gen, you know, the previous generation with the six, but it's still a great choice. I saw that choice and I was kind of kicking myself. Hmm. All right, uh, who's next? Who went second to last? Jonathan, 750 Li. The locomotive. <laughs> Yeah. See, so, yeah, oh my goodness, my time. first time ever. Yeah, oh, you got the sweep. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> where, where won the badge of honor, Jonathan? Now <laughs> you know why. Yeah, <laughs> in the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and I. What's your, what's your favorite car? What are you buying? Uh, you love music, I think. I would. Assume. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> but I, I, I can't hear the music when I'm asleep in the driver's seat of my car. <laughs> uh, I think the only with. Uh, the only option. Wait, what was Casey's car? I three. Oh, I I three. In fact, you know, it's interesting. Oh, we had three BMWs of all the cars. We had three BMWs and three. Yeah, cars. look, three it, it's either Joey's <laughs> or Casey's, and uh, I gotta go with Casey's. I really like the I three. Uh, I dig it, even though it has two cylinders to your twelve. <laughs> but for a cause. I mean, I'm, I'm more concerned about it giving birth to a 911 than I am about <laughs> the cylinder count. But because it's all black, I can handle that. Right. I mean, it is it is just such a, as a, I, mean, I have no kids, so I don't have to worry, but it's, it's such a great little car for what it is. All right, KC, I3. Thumbs Certified pre-owned. I think it's the only one here with a warranty. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. I don't have to sell that one too hard. Um, Super Cub, Super Cub. <laughs> um yeah so i mean it's between no i could never do i could never do an automatic two series so it's it's tony's rl x oh my oh, god come on wow it is i mean wow. it's like basically i mean it's a little bit more money than than the accord but i'd much rather commute in the rlx i that, mean tell well, me i'm yeah, wrong it's between the accord and the rlx i get it but the court, the court has so many. No, this, so the, uh, 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 seven sixty to commute in is uh, is that's just no, that's ridiculous, just, ridiculous commuter. Though. Unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> Again, these are all compliments to me. Keep them coming, please. <laughs> Keep them coming. Take it that way. And wait, what, what was what was wrong with Joey's car, Casey? I just can't do. I can't do an automatic two series. Not even for a commute. No. Yeah, I see. I don't. I'm not that bothered. Even in stop and go, like I don't even think. How many automatics have you owned, Tony? What's that? How many how many automatic cars have you owned? Zero. Yeah. Still zero. Have, have yeah. you ever commuted? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind driving manuals in traffic. It doesn't bother. Do I? I don't even think about it. All right. Uh, who went next? Oh, Joey, you're up. Two series. Awesome. Thirty-five yeah. MPG. Well, I give it a thumbs up. Well, yeah. Five second spot. Zero to sixty. I mean, it's yeah. Joey, what are you buying? My car is most like an LS. No, no, my car, my car is most like your, like your. Soul. I think you need to, I think you need to search your feelings, Joey, and go back to your roots with this one. No, Joey. I don't like the RLX because it's front wheel drive, which I think makes. But I got awesome. the four S's. It's not going to have any. Wheel. <laughs> it's going to feel like a real driver. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, you I'm know what is rear wheel drive? Uh, I'm Joey? picking the i Seven sixty is rear wheel drive. I'm picking the I, i3. It's rear wheel drive. It's electric. It's got the cool interior. I like that car a lot. Cool. So what's 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 the score down? Casey's got two for Casey. Casey has two, and, every, and then there's one for the C8 got... and one for I the R also. Yeah. So all I can do is since I'm the last one to vote. Well, okay. you have we have yeah. to vote on your car first. I first did, but I just want to. <laughs> I like your. Look, I know, well, yeah, I yeah, yeah. You're for under sure. budget. No miles. That's a good Yeah. I feel like how, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, like, I would never buy it. It's boring as hell, but I can't complain about pressure? it. Do you feel peer pressure? Would you have given you know, that? My choice is actually pretty straightforward. You know, of the three BMWs and two Hondas we had this week, the, the, one, the, the one that I really think would be a really good commuter for my lifestyle <laughs> is uh, the i3. <laughs> three blocks. So are we tied? Are we tied? No. No. no, no, he has three. He has the I three wins. wins. I three wins. Oh, you voted for the I three. I thought you just said you voted for the Acura. 
<laughs> that's just what you wanted. To that do. is revenge. I was like, he is history. celebrating a lot for a guy who just lost. You know, this, <laughs> in the history, in, in the forty year history of uh, the forty year history of window shopping, <laughs> just like Motor Week, you know, someday this is the first time I've been able to vote last and choose the winner and make sure there's no tie. And I chose, I chose to make Case see the winner because he's only won every time we've done this game. Show. <laughs> That's true. I, I think Tony's won I think more than I have. Didn't you calculate how many? How many? Yeah, games? but I stopped. I stopped, and then I forgot where I started, so I haven't done it. I have to do it all over. Casey was in the lead at that. He was. He was at that point. Yeah, but then I haven't. I haven't had a win in a while. The guy three is such an ambitious card. It's just hard not to admire it. <laughs> okay. We've said that. The show's over. I always have to tell you that the show's over. <laughs> what can, what can, uh, you don't have to write no, it down. He's, 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 he he's, he's, he's taken his speech pose where he leans yeah. back. Yeah. And he's yeah. Like, no. So, in 1994, now, I was... <laughs> uh, all right, well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Um why don't you, if you guys want to let us know what your favorite commuter cars are or what you commute in and what you like about it or what you don't like about it, please let us know in the comments and please hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. Anything else, Pearly? Any last words? I just want to say that commuting is about getting there. You know, this thing, this, Thank you. You know, this, it's not about arriving. I thought, about about, road I thought it was about something else, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye. Be run track. According, according to Merriam Webster, the definition. <laughs>